Hello and welcome to Coffee Break, Question and Answer. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask Bible questions, and I will give you the email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send me your questions. Please keep them Bible-related. Question today from a listener who writes, Mike, how do you know when you are under the influence of the Holy Spirit versus in the flesh? <clears throat> well, I can give you that answer straight from God. He tells us the answer in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. God says the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and self-control. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is what the Holy Spirit produces in us as we are walking in the Spirit under His control. And what He produces is listed right here. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. Those are the things that we produce or that the Holy Spirit produces when he is controlling us. Now, unfortunately, Christians can move from being in the Spirit into being in the flesh in an instant if they are not careful. But again, when we are in the Spirit under the control and influence of the Holy Spirit, God says these things are going to characterize us. Now let me add one reason it is important to put as much Bible in us as possible is because the Bible says that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Consequently, if we put a lot of God's word into us, then we will be thinking more of God's thoughts, which will make it more natural for us to display God's ways, or in other words, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So again, to wrap it up, this is how you know if you're in the Spirit. You will see in your life, others will see in your life, love and joy and peace and long-suffering and gentleness and goodness, faith, meekness, and self-control. If you have a question for me, you can send it to Scripture Verse by Verse at gmail.com, scripture verse by verse at gmail.com. And if you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, you can be by praying for me and God's Word. That makes you a part of this ministry immediately. Also, when you take a break from studying with me at the Bible verse by verse dot com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break Q&A. So long.